All right, what's good? I'm back with another video. Today, we will be talking about the 76ers delusional GM, Daryl Morey, and his trade request for Tobias Harris. So the 76ers have been trying to get rid of Tobias Harris for a couple of years now, I think. And the reason for that is because in 2019, they gave him a really big contract, I think upwards of $35 million. And he hasn't performed to the level that they expected him to. And they got James Harden, so they don't really need him anymore. Even with James Harden, he would have been a nice addition, but, you know, he just hasn't played that well. You know, Tyrus Maxey kind of broke out as a player, and the Sixers really don't need Tobias Harris at all anymore. You know, the Sixers are looking for more, you know, athleticism as they traded for Jaden McDaniels. They're looking for more shooters, maybe a good backup center, just more versatility in their roster. Now, so onto the report that came out yesterday during the 2023 NBA draft night was that Daryl Morey was trying to trade Tobias Harris and was talking to the Cleveland Cavaliers and offered Tobias Harris for Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, and a first round pick. Now this had NBA Twitter going crazy because Daryl Morey had to be on crack or he had to be high while making this or trying to propose this trade because Tobias Harris is not worth a single one of those things. Maybe the first round pick if it's not that valuable. So some trades I've been seeing for Tobias Harris is something like Tim Hardaway Jr. or Harris Barnes. And I get maybe the Sixers trying to look for Jared Allen to be the backup center, have an Embiid, Jared Allen center combo, maybe a first round pick if no. Sixers throwing pick swaps. But to ask for Evan Mobley is actually crazy. The reports said that the Cavaliers were interested in Tobias Harris. So, you know, that's why Darren Moore was even talking to them. Some other teams that have been interested in him are the Kings and the Suns. In terms of the Sacramento Kings, I don't know how I feel about this just because, you know, I don't feel like they should just waste money or just spend money on Tobias Harris. It's going to give them maybe 13, 14 points a game. I feel like they seem to maybe go get younger players or just get shooters. In terms of the Phoenix Suns, I don't see why they would do this. Obviously, they would trade DeAndre Ayton. It maybe would be a three-team trade, but DeAndre Ayton for Tobias Harris, I guess that would make sense to bring Tobias off the bench for the Suns, but I don't think the Sixers would want DeAndre in. But yeah, that's all about the reports I'm seeing for the teams that want Tobias Harris. I've seen the Indiana Pacers and Detroit Pistons, but I don't think that's going to happen. But I do not know what made Daryl Morey ask for Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. I think a realistic package for Tobias Harris would maybe be like Harris Lavert, maybe Isaac Okoro. And the Sixers give up a couple of firsts. You know, just get some bench pieces, some rotation pieces. But you're not getting a future star. But yeah, that's my opinion on this whole Tobias Harris, Dara Mori, and the, you know, Cavs situation, this whole drama. It's not really drama, but you know, this whole situation. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Because I want to hear what you guys have to say about this whole Dara Mori asking for Jared Allen and Evan Mobley in a pick for Tobias Harris. And let me know what you guys think. Dara Mori was smoking or drinking or snorting. But while we're talking about the Sixers, I kind of wanted to, you know, talk about James Harden a bit. Um, James Harden, he has declined his player option, so he will enter free agency. And there are a lot of reports about him coming to Houston. Those were reports, maybe, those reports came out, I would say, maybe a month or two ago when they got eliminated. But now that the Rockets got a man, Thompson, they still have KPJ. I don't really see that happening. So, and there's no really other teams that James Harden is rumored or just makes sense for Harden to go to besides the Philadelphia 76ers. So most likely, if you are a 76ers fan, do not expect much from your crackhead GM or do not expect much from your team because I don't think a lot is going to change. You're going to run it back with Harden, Tobias, maybe get a few pieces in free agency that's not going to do much. That's pretty much it. Same second round exit. So yeah, if the Sixers actually want to go far, make a big playoff run when the finals are going to have to make really big changes to their roster, whether that's Harden, Embiid, Maxi, Tobias, trading someone and just making a big change in the roster. But yeah, let me know what you guys have to say about this mess of a team, what they should do with Harden and Embiid, and comment down below where Tobias Harris is going to be playing next year, and I'll see you guys in the next video.